A very good morning. I'm Dr. G. Prasad Rao, a senior psychiatrist from Asha Hospital. It's always happy to be with you through this Manasarovar YouTube channel. Today, I thought I'll tell you what is so common some of you would have experienced. If not, if you are in a young adolescent, you are going to ex experience very soon. This is love, the platonic love, the beautiful platonic love of adolescence. That's a time when psychologically you are just growing from 12 to 13 years, a little earlier in girls, a little late in the boys, when the body changes do occur, the hormonal changes do occur, the hormones within you, and I'm referring especially to the sexual hormones, would make you change the body into a much more adult, or you can say adolescent to adult body, which gives essentially by your nutrition, by your genetics, but also by the modernism where you tend to develop your own food fats, you eat well or don't eat well, that leads. But we are talking about the psychology of a platonic love. Many times it does happen that boys start liking their teachers or girls start liking their teachers who is attractive, who talks well, who talks beautifully, who gives them comfort. In fact, though the age gap at that point of time, we call that is the kiddish love, is an attraction. But this is not definitely a kind of a sexual in nature. It is a kind of an attachment. But more typically between adolescent, it is the first crush and first love. I'm sure quite a lot of you or most of you would have experienced this. This Freud said more than 100 years back that you tend to love your opposite parent, opposite sex parent. For example, girls get attracted to the what the father's traits and try to look those traits in the boys and say, oh, he looks just like my father. So it is, this is how Freud thinks that at that time that the sexual Oedipus conflict is getting converted into a kind of a mature love. Whereas a boy might really get attracted to a girl with a, his maternal finger. Oh, traits, maternal, you can say features, maternal habits, whatever. So it is a kind of an attraction which is quite temporary. Usually it is not very deep. They know, but they have their own fears. How to talk? How to communicate? I think in today's world, communication is much more easier. Because in previous days, they used, good old days, they used to write love letters. The love letters would communicate my dear beauty, I love you so much, that kind of message. But today I think it's much more easier. You have lots of social media communication channels. WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, sending your photos every day, and then posting and getting a reaction and getting the likes, the satisfaction. But the times have changed, but the love has never changed. The platonic love is usually, we call it, a stepping. A very few can continue this platonic love to an adult love, which means sustaining this energy all through the next 10 years till you achieve the adulthood and your goals in life. But quite a lot of times, this platonic love has probably a very temporary connection. It leads to a kind of a relationship which lasts for a short period. You have a normal grief once the relation broke. You feel worried, but then you move on. Ladies and gentlemen, during adolescence, especially between 14 to 18, this love actually are the first seedling of how to develop an attachment. Not necessarily only heterosexual or the opposite sex. It's also a mature way where an adolescent progresses. The temporariness or impermanence of this relations which we develop in our life. Some of these relations, especially when your like-mindedness joins the others, when you develop a relationship with others, 
you know you're looking for some traits which are common between both of you. So this actually platonic, adolescent platonic love leads to your future personality. And I'm sure you understand this is needed, this is also lovely, this is beautiful to the extent it should, should be looked at. And I'm sure from this, the adult mature relations develop. So ladies and gentlemen, having a platonic relationship is not wrong. In fact, much older as you grow up, by 25, 30, you start joking on yourself. Sometimes your friends joke on this platonic relationship. Your first crush or your early crushes and the crushes keep, might be keep changing, but the permanence is you are developing a maturity. I hope you understand the beauty of the psychology of this platonic adolescent relationship. And I'm sure you move on. You would have moved on if you are an adult. But sometimes in the adulthood, this relationship comes. For example, you see a movie and something you get, go, go to the reverie of old relationship and then maybe develop a little bit of happiness. So this is also a constantly encouraging you. But at the same time, don't get stuck with that, especially when you move forward. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to meet you again in the next Manasaro or YouTube channel program. Bye bye from now. I'm Dr. G. Prasad Rao. I am Dr. G. Prasad Rao, a senior psychiatrist from Hyderabad.